Hey Hodies, welcome to my channel. My name is Homemess Tom and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be talking about the new Surat bronzers and we're going to keep it a little bit tight today. But if you happen to be new to my channel, hi, welcome. My, my channel is all about loving my makeup collection as it is first and foremost, while being critical of new makeup releases and just trying to be very discerning about what I invite into my makeup collection. But every now and then I have stuff to review and today's video is sort of one of those situations. So if that kind of content sounds good to you, I'd love to have you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. And I am on patreon.com if you would like to support me there. There's no pressure though. Commenting, liking, sharing, all of that, really good stuff. So I appreciate that too. But I would like to thank all of my current patrons. You are the absolute best and I, I really appreciate it. I also have merch, which you can find down below. Surat was kind enough to message me a couple weeks ago and ask me if I wanted to try out their new bronzers. They said that it's going to be in the same formula as their blushes, which I love their artistic blushes. They're really good. Surat's one of the brands that does send me PR and it was, you know, exciting to get a something before, before it launches. I have, you know, it's a, it's a privilege that I don't often see. So it was like kind of fun, kind of cool. I was really excited about it. Before we talk about these too much, I'm going to send you some overhead footage. I'm going to show you both of the bronzers and I'm going to show you them compared to the other bronzers that are in my makeup collection currently. And then I'll bring you back here. I'll apply them both to my face, one to one side, one to the other. So you can really get a good idea of what they look like on the skin on their own. I only have a little bit of cream contour underneath. So the undertones should show through pretty clearly. So let me send you over to that and then I'll be back to tell you a little anecdote. The day that these were supposed to deliver, I had to go to a funeral service. I was getting myself together, I was putting on my makeup, and I knew that they were supposed to come, and I was at the step where I would apply bronzer usually, and I was like, let me just go check the front porch to see if those, those happen to have delivered. And when I open it, there's a box there, and, I'm, and I, it's, it's the Surat bronzers. Now they sent me two, which happens to be the only two, <laughs> And we'll talk about that in a moment. Between the time they asked if they could send them to me and by the time I got them, they had announced them. And the way it looked on all of their imagery and marketing was that there were two, there was like one for lighter skin tones and one for like deeper skin tones. But they sent me both. And I was like, weird, because I, like, I probably can't get away with using the deeper one. In a haste, I only open one, not knowing the thing. So I open up and I just am like, that looks like a shade that will work on me. So I'm just going to use that. And it was this shade. And I was like, I put it on. I made sure with Tiffany before I left the house was like, does this bronzer look crazy? Because I might have pulled out the deep one. I like I did. I didn't have time to open both and be like, which one is the one that's better for me? I opened up one and I was like, that seems like it would work for me. I'm just going to throw it on my face. Now, it, I think in the marketing that this is this is the shade Soleil Claire. I believe that this is the shade that they are marketing to deeper skin tones in all of their marketing. But what actually has happened is they chose one depth and made two bronzers in that depth. If you have fair skin tones, you might be able to use this. If maybe medium at most, and it might want to go with this one as opposed to this one. I'm just going to say upfront, I'm pretty disappointed in the fact that there's two bronzers. Surratt's shade ranges aren't 
like the best in their foundations. I imagine that a lot of people could get away with using their blushes because they're like really beautiful and they have a bunch of intensities and depths in their blushes. Like that's where they're really good at color. Not to say that they don't have nuanced foundation shades. It's just like why two bronzers in 2023? Unfortunately, brands are going to choose to sell to who they're going to sell to. And they clearly were like, well, these bronzers are people for people with light skin tones. And that, I don't think, was the right move. This is a, like, refillable package. You can buy packaging the sides. This will hold either two of their blushes or four of their eyeshadows. Now, what you can buy it pre-packaged. So this one was, like, you know, they, this came with the bronzer in it. But you can also buy refills of the bronzer to put in. Or you can, like, build your own palette with bronzers, eyeshadows, and blushes, because they do make one that could fit a bronzer and a blush in, or like a bronzer and two eyeshadows. So you can kind of do it however you want it. If you want to do like, go on your own, build your own journey with the Surat storing situation. I don't love building my own palettes with Surat shadows because you, you stick them in here. They're not magnetic. Now, if it was magnetic, I'd feel differently because I actually, I like the compacts that Surat puts their stuff in. Like, they're not like the most luxurious, but they're pretty sleek. Their button's pretty large. I don't find it super hard to like push this in. It's not as difficult as to open as like a Pat McGrath blush, which I know that people, I've heard with people who have dexterity issues that that's a little bit difficult. I don't find that that hard, but there isn't a lot of purchase. So, I, I don't I don't know how much issue that would cause for people. But whenever I'm also thinking of bronzers, I kind of love when bronzers like come in like not like super unique packaging, but like I feel like, you know, what you know what the packaging of like a Tom Ford bronzer looks like. I, you don't have to like Google that. You've like seen it before a million times. You know what that looks like. I appreciate when bronzers come in different packaging. I almost wish that Surat kind of like, I've recommended this for Pat McGrath too, but like make packaging that's also for makeup enthusiasts and you can kind of choose your own adventure that way too. But I do, I like this packaging. It's nice and sleek. This would be really easy to travel with. It, you know, I, I, I like, and it's also just like aesthetically pleasing and it's not cheap feeling plastic, but it's not like weighted or anything exciting like that. It's not like holding my Tom Ford bronzer. It's not like opening up the Chanel bronzer. It's not like holding the Victoria Beckham bronzer, but it's not, it doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel like cheap to hold, right? And if, if you are already familiar with Strahd's packaging, then you really know what it's like to interact with this before even interacting with it. I have used the bronzers a couple of times, and what I'm going to tell you is that they are absolutely delightful. I I like them quite a bit. Now, I've only been using the Soleil Claire one, which is the one I initially opened, so I have yet to apply the other one on my face. And this is the shade Soleil Du. And I don't know, it's a little more yellow than I typically go for whenever I go for a bronzer. So it'll be interesting to see it on my face. We can compare the two. Do I need two new bronzers? No. And will I also probably talk about these again in the future when I do my giant Surat final thoughts video? Yeah, I also have something else to add to that video. I forgot that I gave Tiffany this a while ago, and this is their Prismatique Eye and Mesmerize. So I have this also to review. This is a couple years old, so I haven't had any issues with it, but that's also something to keep in mind. Anyway, this isn't a video about that. I'm just letting you know that that's also something that I'm testing for the Surat video. So let's start applying the bronzers. We're gonna start with Soleil Dew and we'll put that on the right cheek. And I'm gonna take my Sonia G Jumbo Bronzer Brush and just tap that in here. You know what's interesting is that it's reading a little more neutral on my cheek than I thought it would. It's really beautiful. If you're familiar with the blushes, it performs just like them. Their their blushes are almost, it almost, like they're not creams. They're definitely powders, but they are so soft and blend out almost as if it is a cream. Like it's like, there's, it's like impossible to use Surat powders and find yourself with like a seam. Now I, I say impossible. I have never had the experience. It's just, they blend out just gorgeous they do the work for you just like look at how soft it is and i don't think that there is like any kind of glowing property to this bronzer but it does feel like it does some like nice blurring and it warmed up the skin without it making my skin look like unnaturally bronzed okay let me apply soleil claire on the other cheek So here it is on my right cheek, the zit that won't quit. 
that's on my cheek is like really bothering me. And then I was like, couldn't tell you the last time I changed my pillowcase. And I was like, well, maybe, maybe it's time to change out my pillowcase. So they do. So they Claire. So yeah, I just, I think that for Soleil Dew, it just has a little more yellow in it. It's not orange by any means. It's not reading as orange. It doesn't look orange in person. This one has a little more red in it for its undertone. Khaki compared it to the Gucci bronzer. So I have never interacted with it. It doesn't look that rosy to me. It, it To me, this feels like just neutral, like in the middle of the road kind of undertone. Whereas you can definitely see the yellow in the pan and so they do. But yeah, these are these are really beautiful products and I don't understand why we couldn't have made more shades. In fact, I would have rather, if we were only gonna do two, I would wish that both of them don't work on me. That's like the biggest bummer because it's an absolutely beautiful product and if you were in the market for a new bronzer, I don't think that this is a bad choice if it works for your skin tone. Is it a bronzer that I would potentially have bought if it wasn't sent to me? Yes, because I already like Surratt's powder formula, so it was something that I probably would have explored on my own. Is it exciting enough to buy if I already have bronzers that I like? No. Now, I haven't really like put these to the test up against my other bronzers like on my face to really see which ones I like more because it's like, in the grand scheme of things, I have two powder bronzers already. I have the Tom Ford and I also have the one from Victoria Beckham. I'm fond of these, so I do probably want to keep at least one, but even in this moment with them both on my face, I couldn't tell you which one I would want to keep. And then that makes me think, maybe I'll just keep both. And then maybe over time I would find myself reaching for one over the other. And it might be a situation where like one would be good for me in the summer and one would be better for me in the winter. Meaning like the rosier one, the more neutral one would be really better for the winter. And then the one that's a little bit warmer I could wear in the summertime and like give myself that glow. But like these look really beautiful on my skin and they're, they're a really nice product. So I, it's not that I don't recommend them, but you know, there's just, there's two shades and they both work on me. So... That wraps up this video. If you enjoyed today's content, I would love to have you subscribe. Make sure you like the video. And again, I'm on patreon.com if you would like to support me there. There's no pressure to. That's where the podcast with me and Khaki currently lives if you want to check that out. And uh, merch again, if you want to check that out too. Anyway, if you also, before I log off, if you ever buy anything from Surratt's website, I do have a promo code with them. It's HOT15. It saves you 15%. I don't know if it works on these, so I will probably pop a note up if they work on these. These are a new release. Sometimes promo codes don't work on new releases, but everything's linked down below if you happen to be interested in purchasing. It's a small way to support my channel because they are affiliate links. Okay, I'm signing off. Remember to follow your hope and you will find me. I will see you in next week's video. Bye-bye.